Center, I hurt. I brought you coffee today. Thanks. We don't know what's happening right here, but I'm starting to look like Scar of the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> I can only open it about halfway this morning. Mm. Literally, it didn't get hit. No clue what happened. the legal age limit to drive in Kenya? Apparently 10 months. I'm driving today, Cooper. We are back in Kisumu, staying with our friends Keith and Aaron. Yesterday, Nate spent the whole day on the computer, travel planning, and I was working on the vlog, so we just took a day off from vlogging yesterday. Today we're about to go to a local hotel to have lunch. That's what they call their restaurants here, is hotels, and they call actual hotels guest houses. So we're going to have a local meal, and after that we're gonna go explore several local markets. Woohoo! Oh, can I This is the hotel we're eating at. It's called the eating room. I think we're gonna have like beans and stuff, rice and beans. It's supposed to be really authentic. We just have to cross the road. Quickly! Have lunch party on the side, just pull. That looks fantastic. Yeah, that that's really mine. Good. Should I have that instead? Thank you. This is called pala. It's rice. It has some chapati torn up down there. And Cinnamon, and that's all I know. Here we go. It smells really good. It tastes really good. That's delicious. What's it taste like? Nate's turn. We went with the beans and chapati. I don't even like beans. <laughs> Good and choice. Heard, heard it was low. No, just low. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Tastes better than the beans in the U.S. in my opinion. It is. Is the chapati soggy? Bean soup with soggy chapati. Is it good soggy? It's not bad. I didn't get anything. I'm trying. Very hearty. I feel like I'm gonna be full for the rest of that. Lunch was great, and now we're heading to the market. We've been told to video discreetly, so if the next footage is kind of bad, that's fine. This is Andrea. She's lived here with her husband for four years. For four years, and she knows how this whole market thing works. Keep everyone together. Everyone count off. One, two. Everybody has a buddy. Here we go. Like this man. <laughs> Kara, how much does a shirt normally cost? So all of the clothes that you see laying around are sent over by organizations like Goodwill and other organizations. They're put into these huge bags and these people buy the bags having no clue what's in it. And then they resell it here for a higher price after they open it. Aaron, what'd you buy? I bought a skirt for 50 cents. It needs to be washed, but it's super cute. Good deal. I'm excited. Thank you. Awesome. After the crazy market experience. It's supposed to be caramel, but it's kind of pink with chocolate and nuts. How much did this cost? Three waters, two ice creams, two dollars. I like Kenya. So being in Asia for like four months, I thought I would be pretty prepared for the street market. Because we went to a lot of street markets. But this was on a whole new level. 
level compared to the Asian street markets we've been to. Much, much louder. Like the street vendors in Asia were pretty quiet. But here, when they see you, they want you now. It's just crazy. Would you agree? They were definitely more intense, and I didn't think it could happen, but they were cheaper. Aaron bought a skirt for 50 cents. Sorry. Now we're heading to the Maasai market. It would have been a much better scene if you just would have shut the door. It burned my hand. This man is painting the postcards by hand. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. All right, I like this one. This one, and this one. Let's see, this was a pretty good find. We'll be giving these away on the vlog shortly. Talking like this? Yes, perfect. Thank you. This man paints these. Yeah. He does a very good job, and we just bought one with hippos on it. Thank you very much. No Our shopping trip is over. to what they call a Muslim restaurant for dinner tonight. Is it a Muslim restaurant or is that what they call it? That's what they call it. And I think that's what it is. And there's a call to prayer right now. <laughs> this is Erin who we've been staying with and her and her husband have lived here for two years and they've been our tour guides for the day. Tell us what we're eating tonight. So this is our favorite restaurant in Kisumu. It's called Al Noor and they reserve our table every week because we are VIPs of <laughs> them. Or you just come every Sunday. Or we just come every Sunday <laughs> and they love that. It's true. Totally VIP. Yeah. And what kind of food is it? So um, it is like Indian food, but the owners are actually from Pakistan, so it has a little bit of like a Pakistani flair to it. But we normally get chicken, naan, and rice with soup every Woo! week. Speaking our language. <laughs> Keith, what'd you order for us? So we have uh, 10 grilled chicken breasts, 14 cheese naan, uh, rice with uh, a red sauce on it, and that's it. I like your style. More, more naan than people. And cola frosties. Did you know? Yeah, I told you. Like, Tastes very authentic. Yeah, it's like coke and ice. <laughs> <laughs> a Kenyan icy. It's delicious. Here's our dinner. I think I'm gonna melt the camera. different levels of spice of chicken. The first level is wash. They literally wash off the spice that they cooked it in. I got the normal spice and then there's an the extra spice. The normal spice is pretty spicy. He says it's the best chicken in the world. What do you think? I would think it's up there. Yes, I usually don't like chicken with bones. There's too much work. But this is really, really good. Really good. And the best part of any meal, nine. Dessert time! What is this? It's a petal leaf. And it's, this is a sugar syrup. Okay. So far, it's sounding pretty good. Don't know. Red stuff. Uh, another sweetener. It's Looks like sprinkles. This is more like honey. So another form of aromatic coconut, coriander, fennel, fennel, any seeds. I like fennel. Sweet bitterness, more of that sweet to Stick, make it moist. Now we're wrapping it up. Love it. 
Okay. Just in yeah. the mouth. Do you chew it? Yes, chew it and take it in. Wait. Take it in. Everything. Yes. But I don't swallow it. You should. Uh, <gasps> I should. Keep on biting it and swallow the, 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 the juice. Uh, Till it, it's finished. There's a lot going on. Get, get used to this, but there's the other ones which give you a kick. Mm. Very good. <laughs> so good. I don't know what I'm tasting. <laughs> there's Lots quite a bit of ingredients. Sweet syrup making its way down my throat right now. <laughs> so good though. And, and what's the name? Pond. Pond. Uh, oh, oh, I love for you, Nate. Uh, I'll have a heart in my mouth. Ha 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 ha. Ew. Uh, uh, uh. Feels very strong urge to brush my teeth. We have no clue what's happening. Keith and Air went to sleep. Some really loud vehicle just drove by. And now there's smoke everywhere. Hope oh, we're not getting poisoned. Yeah. Yeah. Look at how they shape the mannequins here. It cracks me up. What was he 